Let's balance the redox reaction Cr207 2 minus plus C2O4 2 minus. We're going to do this in acidic medium. So the first step when we do these redox reactions, we write the oxidation numbers for each element. And I've already done that. If you need help, there's a link in the description to help you do that. Once we've done that, we'll write the half reactions for the species of interest. And they're interesting because they're the ones that change. So we're looking for the ones that change their oxidation states. After that, we'll balance the half reactions and the overall reaction. Let's write the half reactions first. So these are the half reactions. The chromium went from a plus six to a plus three, each chromium atom. So that means that this number is smaller. This has been reduced. And then over here, each carbon went from plus three to plus four. So it's lost electrons. It's been oxidized. So to balance the half reactions, first we balance the atoms of interest, the ones that have changed. So we have two chromiums here. Let's put a two here. We have two carbons. We only have one here. So that balances the atoms. Now we can balance the oxygen atoms with the water. We can add water to each side. So here I have seven oxygens. It means I need to add seven water molecules. So now I have seven oxygen atoms, seven oxygen atoms. In this half reaction, we have four oxygens. And here we have two times two. That's four. So now we can balance the hydrogens here by adding hydrogen ions. Seven times two is 14. So we need 14 hydrogen ions here and down here. We don't have hydrogen. Don't need to worry about it. At this point, we need to balance the charge. So it's a little bit complicated because here we have 14 and two minus. So that's 12 plus two times three plus is six plus. If I had six electrons over here and you add up all of these charges, that'll equal six plus on both sides. That's good. Over here, I have two negative two. So I need to add two electrons. That's done. So we've balanced the half reaction. At this point, we're going to balance the overall charge for the electrons. Think of it this way. These right here, these are the reactants. That's what we have in the reactants. This is the products. In the products, we have two electrons. In the reactants, we have six. That's not balanced. So we need to balance that. The way we do that, we're going to multiply this whole thing here, this whole half reaction here by three, because three times the two electrons, that's six electrons. Here, we'll have six electrons to balance these. But everything gets multiplied by three. We have the same ratio, so that's OK. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take and multiply three times everything, and then I'm going to put all of this in the reactants and all of this in the products. That'll look like this. So now once we have this, we have our reactants here and our products down here. We simplify six electrons on both sides. We can take that out. And that's the only thing that's the same on both sides. So let me clean this up. And this is the balanced redox reaction for Cr207 2 minus plus C2O4 2 minus. So if we look at the charge, we have 14 plus minus 2. That's 12 plus minus 3 times 2 minus. So minus 6. We have a total of 6 plus charge on this side. Over here in the products, 2 times 3 plus, that's 6 plus. If you count these atoms up, they're balanced as well. So that's it. This is Dr. B with the balanced redox reaction for Cr2O7 2 minus plus C2O4 2 minus. Thanks for watching.